Back in the late 1970s, many officials in the United States Air Force realized that we were falling behind in radar technology. The Soviets had already had an over-the-horizon radar system running since 1976, and they had been using it on and off even before then. Our current radar system gave only minutes to maybe an hour's notice, but this new and improved radar system could give multiple hours notice, ranging over 2,000 miles from the origin. These officials realized they needed to work fast, and began proposing new ideas for locations. After a few years' time, they had settled on Moscow, Maine, and Rimrock Lake, Oregon, now known as Christmas Valley. Many documents were made up to be sent out to state officials and federal organizations. One of these documents, this one here, was sent to Oregon State University by the Air Force Office of Scientific Research. Here. It says the year was 1977, and the document is on Advanced Forward Area Tactical Radar Network. This is one of the first forms about the serious construction of this system. The document states that installation is anticipated for the late 1980s, and that the improvements made by implementing it would be revolutionary. The next page continues this by saying, the heart of the network is a number of closely spaced, short-range, 3D radars which communicate with one another to share information about target tracks. I recently visited the site and took a mix of pictures and video. Here are some of the photos I took. So here's the uh, first building. Uh, that was the first uh, station. Here's the sign that tells me not to go in, and uh, that's me stepping over it. That's the uh, second facility building. And the third one is off in the distance, behind the fence. Here is uh, the cell phone slash microwave tower that they have, and that's what the site is used for most of the time now. And uh, there's two of them. One, uh, one there and one way down. This is the road that goes along the perimeter. You can see the fence is quite uh, large. There's signs that run along the entire length of it warning you not to go in, especially if you have a pacemaker. And there's Department of Energy uh, warning signs as well. So I bet you're wondering, how does this system work, and why would they want to upgrade from older radar systems? To provide the United States increased bomber attack warning time, AFSC's Electronic Systems Division is developing an over-the-horizon backscatter radar system, or OTHB. There is a transmit site and a receive site. The transmit site includes the transmit antenna array and the transmitter buildings. Each antenna consists of four arrays, each with 12 dipole antennas. The overall antenna is half a mile long and can be as tall as 100 feet. The size of these antennas enable the system to backscatter signal off the ionosphere and find ships and planes 2,000 miles away. After being put into indefinite sleep by the Air Force in 2005 and sold to the state of Oregon in 2009, the property has been left with unmet goals and no maintenance. It has been left to its own and is slowly rotting away in the desert of eastern Oregon.